Good afternoon, church family, and certainly we are together uh, looking to the Lord, and I want to encourage you in the scriptures today. Psalms 31 says, In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. So again, the psalmist is such an example to us. He's looking to the Lord in hard times. He's looking to the Lord to direct his paths. Again, in Psalms 31 verse 5, he says, Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. And that's what we want to do, church family. We want to commit our lives into his hands. None of us have ever been through anything like this before. But how wonderful is it to know that we're in good hands. We're in God's hands. Again, the scripture says, My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hands. So again, church, we're in good hands. We're in God's hands. He's promised that no one could snatch us from his hands. Psalms 95, verses 6 and 7 says, Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God. And we are his people, the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. So again, as we look horizontally, things seem entirely out of control. But when we look vertically, this world is under God's careful supervision. God's got you. God's got me. God's got this virus under control. Let's look to him. Church family, let's trust the Lord. We trusted him for our eternal salvation. Let's trust him for those daily needs, that daily provision. Let's trust the Lord together. Myself and the deacons, we met last night for a strategic planning session. And we plan to comply with the instructions given to us by our civil leaders. So as of right now, Wednesday, March 18th, there will be no public or church-wide gatherings, but our church services will be online. Sunday, March the 22nd at 1045, we're going to have church. It's going to be a little different than we're used to. It's going to be online, but still we're going to gather in his name and we're going to worship and we're going to grow together in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I encourage you. Visit our website, swancreekbaptistchurch.com. Get familiar with it, and it'll be an easy way for you to get right on and be a part of this online church service this coming Sunday. During the service, there's going to be congregational singing, scripture reading, special music, prayer, and of course, a Bible-centered message, a message of hope from our Lord. Also, another opportunity for you would be March the 20th. It's a Friday. This coming Friday, we're going to meet in, in small groups and have devotional time and prayer time together. We're only allowed to have 10, so I need you to sign up. Call the church office. Let them know when you can come, and let's get together and pray, and let's get in the Word together and be encouraged. We'll meet in the auditorium. We'll spread out a little bit. We want to respect the, the six-foot parameters uh, that they've asked us to have, and we're going to meet together. So look forward to this. Call the office. Set up your time slot when you can come. We're going to meet at 10 a.m. on Friday. We're going to meet at 12 noon and also at 7 p.m. And if we need more time slots, we'll set up more. We want to be an encouragement to you. We want to be a blessing. We want to keep growing together. There's other ministry opportunities that are available. For example, Jonesville Elementary. The school is closed for at least two weeks, and there's boys and girls that need some help. They need help with meals. 
And so church family, we want to jump in and we want to be a part of this. So they're telling us they need Vienna sausages, beanie weenies, granola bars, applesauce, fruit cups, gummies, water. So any of these things, if you can help, bring them by the church and we'll make sure they get delivered to the elementary school and delivered to the boys and girls. Also, another ministry opportunity would be grocery shopping, maybe for you or maybe for your neighbor. Again, we want to reach out. We want to be a help in shopping or maybe running errands. So please, let your neighbors, let your friends know that this ministry is available and let's reach out. I want to encourage your church, be a witness during this time. Be a witness of God's grace and God's strength. Point others to your hope, to Jesus Christ. Reach out on purpose. Stay connected with your friends and your family members, your neighbors. Write letters, send emails, whatever. Let's just continue to minister during these trying times. One of the concerns that many have shared with me is, Pastor, uh, what about the financial circumstance that our country is in. Well, listen, God is in control of that also. He has promised to meet our every need in Christ Jesus. So let's take the Lord at his word. Certainly as a church, we want to be faithful, faithful in this area of giving. These are uncertain times for sure, but let's just by faith continue to give and just wait upon the Lord. We've allowed some different opportunities as far as giving. If you want to give by mail, you can send your gifts, your offerings, your tithe, your faith promise. You can send it here to the church. If you want to give in person, uh, we're going to have an offering box set up and available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Again, we're going to keep things as clean as possible, wiping door handles, trying to make it as safe as possible for you to come and to be a part of these prayer meetings or these devotional meetings or to drop off your offering. So again, that's an option. Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. there will be a collection box just inside the carport doors. You can come in and drop your offering there. We also have an opportunity to give online if that would be a help for you. So again, look at our website, swancreekbaptistchurch.com and there'll be a giving portal there if that would be the best solution for you. But let's just be faithful to the Lord, and certainly He will meet our needs. Church family, you know you can call or text us anytime. We are available. We want to be here for you and minister to you. Call here at the church, 336-835-3526, or you can call or text me on my cell phone, 336-682-5949. Now again, the situation we find ourselves in right now in the United States and the worldwide is a very fluid situation. Things are changing daily. So as the leadership team, we are on top of this. We're meeting regularly, on our knees regularly, seeking the Lord's wisdom as we go forward. So you do the same. Again, let's finish today with Psalms 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Church family, let's look to the Lord and to him only. We love you in the Lord. Stay faithful. Be praying.